In this video, I'm going to test one of these ear loop respirators by BreatheTech. They say they're ultra breathable and come with a super premium nose wire that they say has no spring back. Now, as you may know from watching my videos, my nose is like a torture test for nose wires and only a few masks like this 3M Aura actually fit. So that's a real challenge for these masks and I want to see if their super premium nose wire works for me. To do the testing, I'm going to use this mask fit testing machine that samples air from inside the mask and compares it to the air outside of the mask and tells you how much cleaner the air inside the mask is. I'm going to wear the mask for a few minutes and then I'll start the testing and then we'll try the uh, BreatheTech masks afterwards. Okay, um, five, yeah, 578 overall fit factor. That's a very good score. I needed 100 to pass. And uh, that means the mask is 578 times cleaner on the inside. I've put a sample probe into the BreatheTech so we can sample from inside the mask. Now, before I run the test, I just want to remind you that fit is very individual. Whether it fits me or not doesn't necessarily say whether it'll fit you. So if you can get fit testing, that's great. Uh, otherwise, if you think you feel a leak in a mask, especially at the nose bridge or around the seal, it's probably leaking. But a fit test is what tells you whether it is for sure. Okay, um, the nose wire is, feels like it's solid metal, uh, which is better than most nose wires, but I can already feel that it's leaking at the nose bridge. Um, so I, I'm gonna guess it's not gonna pass a fit test on me, but I have a very high nose bridge. Um, I'm feeling a lot of leakage. If your nose bridge is shallower, this could be a great mask, but for me, I'm just going to take a, a bet that it's not going to pass. I'm going to breathe for a few minutes to make sure I've purged all the unfiltered air, and then we'll run a fit test. Okay, uh, 9.5. Um, it's actually a little bit better than I thought it would be. That's um, about as, as well as I get with uh, KF94 masks that are good on me, like the uh, LG air washer. Um, so a, a leakage of about 10%. It's, uh, it's, it's better than a lot of trifold masks are on me. So not as bad as I thought. And I think for people with a, a lower nose bridge, these could be a lot more protective. It's a comfortable mask. The BreatheTech trifold fits me about as well as other ear loop trifolds can. But I wanted to find out if the super premium nose wire is as super premium as it could be. And to find out, I've taken the nose wire out of this mask, as well as the Aura, and I've got them right here. Uh, let's wait till they focus up. Come on. There we go. So the one on top is the wide one. That is from the BreatheTech. The one on the bottom is narrower, but it's thicker. So you can see that the one on top is still the BreatheTech. It's thinner than this 3M one. To find out if the 3M one would work better, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the BreatheTech mask and then run a fit test on it. Okay, I've got the 3M nose wire in and I'm still feeling leaks. Um, so the nose wire is not the only issue with the mask uh, not fitting me at the nose bridge. Um, might be just a little too short for me. And uh, also the ear loops don't provide as much tension or uh, direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the test. Three point eight. Amazingly, it <laughs> the three M nose wear uh, not only did not improve it, it actually seemed to make it worse. So that that's a bit surprising. Was not expecting that. Um, I'm gonna try something else. In that last test, you might be thinking that maybe I compromised the seal of the mask by cutting out the nose wire. But I would like to point out that I did put a uh, clear piece of tape over it so that there wouldn't be any leaks through the slit I made. So now what I've done is I have put a uh, 3M Aura foam in it, and I've also attached 3M Aura straps to the mask. So we're gonna test those independently. First, we'll do just the, uh, the 3M nose wire plus the foam, and then we'll uh, add the nose wire foam and 3M or head straps. Okay, with the nose foam, um, I'm not feeling those leaks at the nose bridge anymore. So I think the nose foam is helping and it probably would have helped with the original nose wire as well. Um, I kind of wish I'd just done the nose foam first, but uh, that could always be tested at a later date.
105. Okay, I passed a fit test, um, a static version anyways. Um, that's a dramatic improvement. It went from, what, what was it, uh, 3.8? I forget the exact number, uh, all the way up to 105. It's also better than the uh, under 10 score that I got with the original nose wire and nose, nose foam. So I think uh, a nose foam could really improve this uh, mask, for me at least, and, and maybe for others. Now let's add the Aura head straps and see if those also help. Okay, 89. Um, I was moving around a little bit when I was doing that test, but it's just showing me that the ear loops are, are sufficient to get me a, a decent fit factor, and that it's not headbands versus ear loops that are really the, uh, the main difference. It's this nose foam um, that made the biggest difference. Now, before we go, I'm going to do one last thing, and we're going to grab a um, mask fitter, and we're going to test and see if we can't get the best possible fit and see how good this filter media is compared to the 3M Aura without any of this stuff. Well, this looks a bit ridiculous, but it does give a really good seal, and this should be a test of pretty much the limit of the filtration ability of this mask. Now, I'm using an N100 test, which is not the N95 test, so I'm getting total inward leakage. That includes filter penetration as well as bypass around the filter. So it's uh, the case that I could get a higher fit factor score with the N95 test made for masks like this. But I, I really want to know how many particles get in the mask, and not just around it, but through the filter material. So this is similar to the test Aaron Collins uses, and it has both advantages and disadvantages. Sixty-eight. Wow. Now, I'm um, not sure what to make of that. I didn't feel like I was leaking any. Uh, so with that, I feel a need to put a 3M Aura in as a control to make sure there's not something going wrong with the machine because these scores have been going down. Uh, maybe something's going on. This is a uh, different Aura than I tested earlier because I took the old one apart to use on this other mask. Right now, I've got the port account in particle mode. And you can see that it's detecting, you know, uh, single digits to double digits of particles. Uh, that's particles per square centimeter. And it changes as to whether I'm breathing in or breathing out. When I breathe out, there are fewer particles because my lungs absorb some of the particles. But these numbers are lower than I was getting with the um, BreatheTech mask sealed in my face with Fix the Mask. So, uh, so far, this mask is filtering more than the, uh, than the BreatheTech was, but we're gonna run a fit test to get the actual results. 721. Okay, so I, I think that shows the machine is working, that those lower scores with the breathe tech, I don't know what was happening with those. I, I think the mask was getting sealed better each time, but I wasn't really getting low counts. So we're going to try this again, but in the configuration that tested best. Got the uh, port account in the count mode again. And as you can see, we're getting higher count numbers when I'm wearing this mask. Uh, previously, I got down to the single digits at times. Um, right now, we're getting triple digits and double digits. So clearly, we're not getting as good a seal or we're getting more filter penetration. The, uh, the test machine doesn't really know which is which uh, in this mode. But it's not giving me as good a performance as the 3M Aura. Uh, but we'll have to run the full test to find out exactly how well it's doing. 86. So that's uh, back in line with what the scores we got were earlier. I don't know why Fix the Mask seemed to make it a bit worse. Um, not sure what's up with that. Um, but I can say that that's a, that's a very protective score. Um, that's just a little over 1% total inward leakage. So with the nose foam and possibly uh, even with the original nose wire, which is a good nose wire, I think this is a protective mask. And for people who don't have my high nose bridge, uh, maybe it could be very protective without the nose foam. Fit is very individual, and your fit is going to vary. Before we finish the video, I want to uh, thank BreatheTech for providing something that I think every manufacturer should be doing, which is they offered a sample pack that had one of each of their sizes, so you did not have to order a box of 10 of one size only to find it doesn't fit. 
I think every manufacturer should be doing this. And I love that they've got extra small, they've got um, medium and small and large. These are great things for mask manufacturer to have. Also, these masks really are very breathable. It felt a little bit more breathable than the uh, 3M Aura.